this is your uh, Feb March uh, 2020 paper and uh, you have read the entire scenario. Okay, I don't have to read it again. All we have to do is they have mentioned over here is that uh, school has a weekly timetable that does not change. Each student studies a number of subjects. For each subject studied, each student has a number of one of one class, which has four lessons in a week. Each subject has timetable that has more than one class. Each lesson has a single teacher, but classes can have different teachers for each of the four lessons. So in MS Word, actually, we simply have to do is we have to create over here is an entity relationship diagram, okay? So if we do so, we will obviously, uh, I'll just show you what we'll do is, I'll open up Word. And we have to just make over here, uh, different tables, okay? So I'll just make it uh, landscape. So if I had, uh, so as you can see over here is we can have over here how many each student has uh, each student studies a number of subjects. Okay, so we can have a student table in which we'll have is the student ID and we can have is the subjects and probably the name. Okay, we don't have to mention the rest of them. For each subject study, each student is a member of class. So we can have a class and we can have a class ID, which has four lessons in a week, okay? So we can have a, a, a table for the class, we can have a table for the lesson, we can have a table for the subject. Each uh, lesson has a single teacher, we can have a table for the teacher, but classes can have different teachers for each of the four lessons, okay? So what we'll do is we'll just gradually, okay? We'll just make different tables. So just one second. Uh, I would like to use over here is, uh, no, 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 this table, I would use some other table. So I'll just use simple table. So I, I won't make it confusing. So we can simply have over here is let's say student, okay, student ID, student name, okay, and then what we can have is subject ID, okay. Uh, I will just create it and afterwards we'll just have a, have a look that uh, how many do we want. Okay, we, we can decide this afterwards. Oh, not this one, uh, sorry. Let's see, you can see my screen better? Yes, sir. Right, then we can have is uh, lesson ID. Okay, class ID teacher, okay. And then we can have is uh, teacher ID for the teacher table, okay. Subject ID, All right. Uh, and then we can have is what else do we need? We got here, yeah, we can have class. Class ID. Lesson ID. And we can have more, more information as well. So what we can do is, as you can see over here is, um, what I'll do is obviously, um, I, I can define this as a primary key. So wherever there has to be a primary key, I will just define that particular thing. So that's a primary key. That's a primary key. That's a primary key. Uh, that's a primary key. Yes or no? So if we were able to uh, make a relationship, what I would do is I will make a relationship so I can make a student ID. Okay. Do I have a student ID somewhere else? Hold. This means I have to fill it up. So I have teacher, I have lesson, I have class. 
Uh, we didn't wait for subject. Hold on, sorry. We were oh, we were also supposed to make one very important. And don't you think that's important? And that is your subject. So we have to have is subject ID, which will be obviously a primary key. And then we will the subject will be taken by uh, different students, which will be a foreign key, right? So um no 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 let's just try to this here I have to subject subject class ID class ID so this is something that um we can create as you can see so here I can have a relationship which would be uh let me just make it so I'll have is the student ID Uh, with a subject ID student ID, I didn't mention student ID, okay? And then we'll have is between our subject ID with the subject ID, so a for primary key uh, with a foreign key, right? And then we have to have is a relationship between our class ID and class ID. That's that's the class is a, a primary key, and this is a foreign key, right? And then we have is our what else do we have? We have teacher ID, okay. And here yes, teacher ID here as well. Exactly. So here we go, and here we go. So we've been able to make a relationship. Yes or no? You get my point. Now, what we're supposed to do actually over here is they, they have asked over here is to make an entity relationship diagram. So, uh, you can, a conceptual entity relation diagram design is table. We've done that. Okay, right? Now, what this said is you will be creating a small database for the geography department to hold uh, details of six trips to different places. Use your local currency where appropriate. Format this to two decimal places. Open and Open and carefully examine the data in the trips. Now, if you open this file that you have, okay, um, I, I've actually uh, solved it, but I, I'll discuss it with you again. <clears throat> so if you open this file, this is what you have, okay? The question specifically is, is, is very interesting and been pretty easy. It says, analyze the content of the file and create a data dictionary in the evidence document for the database to be normalized to first normal form. Now, if you remember what first normal form was, from in zero normal form, the more, one of the most important thing was that the fields, these fields, they have to be atomic. And when I say atomic, it means is that every field should represent only its own data. The name should be the name. This is not the name. This is the first name and the last name. The address should be the uh, entity of its own. It's atomic. Address one, address two, address three, um, street, uh, postal code, city. They have to be separated. Okay. So this is not atomic, this has to be atomic. In order to make it atomic, what we have to do is, um, you're following me, Peter? Yes, sir. I'll simply copy this, and I'll simply, let's say, the top, and I'll simply just paste it here. And what I'll do is, I'll just select this, it's pretty easy, and I'm going to do to data, and I'll say text to column. Text to column means I want to convert this into a separate. So next, it's separate through a space, next and finish. So over here I have is the first name and then I have is the last name. So somehow I've made it atomic and I obviously I don't need this. I'm going to delete this one. So I've got atomic, atomic, all the fields are now atomic. So I've been able to achieve the first normal form, yes or no? Yes. It was frankly very easy. If your normalization concept is, is, is are clear, it, it was, I think so seven marks were enough for this, okay? Now, what this thing is, analyze the content of the file and create right. Okay, uh, done with that. Use your data dictionary and the file list to create a database to first normal form. Do not include the data from this. Uh, okay, use your data dictionary and the trips to create database to uh, first normal form. I, I just did that, right? Uh, 
So I just have to import it into access, okay? This file, that's all what I have to do, okay? You'll be able to import into access, that's not the point. Okay, now what's data dictionary? Let's just talk about it. Data dictionary actually means is, um, if I create a data dictionary, or do I have to create a data dictionary of these as well? Uh, no. If I create a data dictionary of this table, I will do it over here. How will I do it? I'll just show you. Well, um, let me open up access and I'll just show you what I mean. Now, if I have to create a dictionary of this, I'll simply have to have the following. Okay, I wish I could save my time. Hmm. Anyway, so I need to do is, I'll just tell you what I do. Uh, here we go. So that's my booking table. Anyway, I'm not talking about book table right now. Let's talk about this, one, for example. I have the following fields, okay? Uh, I'll just copy this. And over here, I am going to make as a table. And I'm going to have over here is, I'm sorry, but can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm so sorry, the internet just went off for a while. Okay, uh, what I'm saying is, uh, all I have to do is, uh, if I have to copy these, what I'll do is I'll just copy this and I'll paste it. In fact, you know, I'll just transpose this. Uh, why? I'll just tell you why. So, because I'm just trying to save my time. Uh, so, here we go. These are my field names. Uh, I will define the data type of this. For example, this will be, um, uh, I can read, I can do it as text or alphanumeric. Uh, like I, I would. Oh. Uh, so you missed student ID from the field. Okay, fine. I mean, you get the point, right? I'll write alf yeah, yeah. alphanumeric, uh, currency. I'll type all these. Then I will type over here is field. Length, how much do I want it? Uh, will there be any validation uh, rule here? Okay, will it be a, a key field? Uh, which means if there's a primary key, you'll tell that yes, uh, this will be a primary key, this will not be. So this is actually my table. So I, I'll define the table name here. Okay, and this is the data structure of that table. So when, when they talk about, uh, specifically when they talk about this, your data dictionary, that, you, that is your data dictionary, okay? So data structure is your data dictionary, okay? Right, so this is what you're supposed to create on that table. Using the same data to create a relationship normalized or third normal form, okay. Now, the key point over here is, how do we do a third normal form? Well, um, if you look at this particular table, um, you will see something is that, um, there's a lot of repetition of uh, records over here. I have the uh, student ID. So student ID, first name, last name are related to the student. But yes. the, trip, the trip has to be separated. So I can have the trip, cost, and paid, and destination separated. Okay. So uh, I can separate them. So 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 what I've done over here is, um, how, how do you simply uh, separate them? Well, um, I can simply select the student. Uh, the first name and the last name. I'll just copy this. I'll take it to a new. Oh, I just said new, I think. And I'll just paste it here. And what I'll do is I'll just try to see, but you, because you can see what here is, there are a lot of repetitions. You can see, and this, they're being repeated. Yeah. Can you see that? I have to yeah. get rid of this repetition. So in order to get rid of this repetition, which I'll come, I'll come data and I'll in data, you'll find data tools and you'll find over here is remove duplicates. So I'll remove the duplicates. Okay. Same way, what I'll do is I need to separate. So in the same way, I'll be separating over here is the is a trip ID, the, the, the cost and the destination. Okay, I'll copy this, I'll bring it in a new table. 
And here I am again going to make sure if there are any duplication records and I will simply come to data and we will be removing some web duplicates and here we go. Now the advantage of this is this trip ID is a unique ID. That's a primary key. So this trip ID is a primary key and the other trip ID that you have over here, uh, this one, that's a foreign key. So trip ID and trip ID can help me to make a relationship, yes or no? Yes. Get the point? So this way, yes, you can see over here is, uh, I will have how many tables? I'll just now open this for you. I have bookings, I just show. So then I'll make another table. I'll have this table. Booking, student ID, trip paid and all that. Now let I have to do this for you, otherwise you won't get it. Just, just wait. I just can't skip it. You will get confused. What I'm saying is, one table I got of a student, which has student ID, first name, last name, agree. I have another table which has trip, ID, cost, and, and now I need the third table. The third table that I'll make is, is, is a booking because I have to make a relationship because student ID cannot be related to something else because they have to book. A third table is needed, which is booking. So what I'll need is over here is I can get is the trip ID. Uh, I can get uh, the paid and the uh, cost, right. And maybe the destination, but it's fine. Okay, copy, come here, new, and I'll just paste it here. And I'm going to have over here is booking ID. Oh. Now, how do I, I just need a random ID. So all I can do is I can just type one here, uh, you know this technique and I can just say is equals to this plus one and I can just replicate this. Now you see over here is I have this. So I have booking ID, I have trip ID. So trip ID, this is unique. So this trip ID can be related to the trip ID over here, which is, which is oh, this ID over here. Okay, right? Okay. So uh, eventually what we can do is, uh, if I have actually done it, uh, if I open up access, let me show you. So this is what we have. Uh, just to save time, I'll, I'll just show you that uh, we imported bookings in which I have the booking ID. I'm sorry, I forgot to add this student ID. Booking ID, the student ID, trip ID, paid cost. Yes or no? And then I have students student, and then I have trips, yes or no. So in booking, obviously the student had to be added because I want to know if the, which students have booked. So the booking IDs, the student ID, which, which trip they have booked and all that. So the relationship that will be created, you can see over here is, will be between trip ID and the trip ID, this the trip ID in trip is a primary key. The trip ID in the booking is a foreign key. This is being not being repeated, this is being repeated. The student ID in the student table was unique. Remember, we made it, we made it unique. Okay. Yes. And the student ID in the booking is not unique. Yes or no? So uh, you have to make is a link table that can link both of them. It's not a big deal. And you can see over here is, uh, if you look at the marks of this, this is too much. This is 24, 6. There are a lot of marks, 17. Uh, 32, this is like more than 80% of the paper. The rest of the part, you can, you can, there's just a simple report that you have to make and the full paper is done. Yeah. Right, can, can you try this yourself again? Yes or no? Yes, sir.